Brand new PowerPoint feature, you can now get these cartoon people that allow you to kind of create a scene or something like this. So I'll show you how to make one of these. You can get someone coming up, they've been having fun and the mom finds out and then their facial expressions change. What's that? So my name is David Benaim and I have tons of videos on Excel, PowerPoint, Google Sheets, Power BI, Zoom, Teams, Sway. If you're using tech of the workplace, then I'm covering it on my channel. So subscribe if you want to see weekly videos on this kind of content. This woman, for example, like this, and then change her facial expression and change her clothes colors and then change it again, put some glasses on her, things like that. Uh, you can create scenes as well and color them in. Or this one, this is a raw scene that's not been colored in yet, for example. Uh, you also have, for a while, you've had these things called cutout people and these other things called stickers, which are more for the Gen Zers, I would guess. And you can get them to have different poses. It's not as smooth as the cartoon people and how they move from one to the other one. But you do have different poses for all of these types. So I'll show you how to do those. And finally, you have third party add-ins as well. So this is a third party add-in for cartoon characters. And you can also get them to morph into another pose of each of them like that. So let's look at how to do this. So in the insert tab, you have icons here. And if you're an Office 365 customer, you'll see cartoon people. So for a while, we've had these ones. These are also available for PowerPoint 2021. Um, and then they start off with these four and then they kept adding first illustrations and then videos and now cartoon people is the newest one. So cartoon people allows you to, you can either go straight for the characters and these are fully developed characters or half characters. Notice that there aren't actually that many of them. Um, and that's why you can get customizable by getting a head, choosing a face for it. And then even this three eyed face, for example, and then choosing either an upper body or a full body. And then you can get accessories as well. So these ones will be the people ones, I guess. And then you can customize with decorations, for example. So banners that you can type into, things that you can put into your scenes. Or the scenes are fully created as well, things like that. Again, there aren't that many of these, but you can customize them. And I'll show you how to color them in. Um, and then you have actually buy other specific things. So if you want children, you want signs, if you want shapes, adults, babies, devices as well, and keep going. Copy space, so that could be interesting. Or if you want people who are specifically making a gesture, that is one to go with as well. Um, specifically girls or women, school related stuff. You can also search as well. So if you want to search for happy, these are some happy expressions, angry, things like that. Um, the ones I showed you later on, those were cutout people. And here you have character names that you can go with, but also you can search for facial expressions or what they're doing. And each person has multiple poses or stickers. Stickers are kind of like where you have cutout people, but it's using kind of these comic booky type characters as well. Things that people would send on Telegram or Snapchat or those kind of things, generally for younger audiences. <laughs> uh, videos are really cool. Videos are kind of more serious looping videos. I do cover this in some of my other videos. And then you have images. Images I use a lot and icons uh, I use the most probably. And they do keep releasing them. So for example, in Cartoon People, where you see the new tab, these are things that have been released this month. On the first day of every month, they release certain things on some of them. Uh, in this month, we have new stuff for videos and cartoon people, but not for the other tabs. Illustrations is another one that has been around for a while, which has here everything is yellow, but you can change the dominant color to have just grays, blacks, whites, and then the prominent color can be changed. Um, but let's look at cartoon people. That's the main thing we're going to do in this video. So. Let's create something. So I'm going to choose, for example, this one and this head. And then let's choose a body like that one. And then maybe also choose some kind of accessory. So let's say they're wearing a hat, maybe a new hat. And 
maybe put them into a scene like this scene, for example. So this is what you get, and you can kind of put, move them around. Notice that it puts everything as a separate object. The only thing it combines is the face and the head, which is kind of nice because that kind of makes sense. So um, then you want to put the head on, on the body, obviously, and <laughs> the hat maybe doesn't go that well with this kind of hairstyle, but it can be a nice one to have. And then um, you can recolor them as well. So I would go for, get definitely get used to this, where you click, drag, across. Note that you have to select the entire thing. If I stop there, where the legs aren't selected, then it's not going to select the person. It's just going to select these. So get used to those or hold down control as you select things as well. So this can be a nice one to manipulate. Um, next, what we're going to do is we're going to recolor it. So if you click on just the object as is and then recolor it, that's not what you want. That will just make a silhouette. You want to get around um, converting them into shapes. Now, if you click on these, these are graphics. So these are special design things. Um, they're kind of something in between a shape and an image. Uh, it's, it's actually a vector diagram for those who are into techie stuff. So if you select all of them, you can convert them to shapes. And it will do that. And then you will need to ungroup them uh, to keep going. Because even when they are shapes, if you change that color, it will still do that. So what I tend to do, Control Shift G is the shortcut for ungroup. So I tend to just press that a whole bunch of times. You will get this, press yes. And then you will slowly get individualized elements. So if I click on this, for example, Control Shift G again, and now I have individual elements. So I can see that there is the background, the sort of skin tone, if you like. So I can click on that and I can kind of select, this is uh, the t-shirt, sorry. You can select that, you can click on these, let's give them like bluish jeans. There we go, maybe something a bit darker. There we go, perfect. And then you can also choose the skin tone. Um, there isn't anything directly skin tone related here, but I'm just gonna choose something that's somewhat close. The shoes, fill color, let's do, uh, bit of a clash. Okay, that's okay. Uh, <laughs> now they look like a bit of a joker style thing. You can also sort of um, use the format painter. So copy that and paste it there. Nope, that's no good. Undo because we need to ungroup it. So control shift G again. And then we have, this will be the hair color. So annoyingly, these are not really the kind of color palette that you want for this kind of thing, like skin tones or hair colors. You would ideally want something a little bit more specific, but you deal with what you can. So if I color that, there we go. Now we've got the skin tone as well. And now, then you get the face. So the face is still one object like this. Um, you can also ungroup the face. I tend to keep the face as is. The only reason I would ungroup it would be for to maybe color individual things. If you zoom in, then you get more of a thing. So here are these kind of drops. Uh, let's make them a little bit blue because they're supposed to emulate crying with laughter. <laughs> and then the beret hat, we can make that into another color as well. Probably want to ungroup it again. So we keep the design. We just want the stuff in the back. No, that would be the outline, but this one would be that stuff. There we go. There's our cartoon character that has been made. So this is the same scene that I recolored earlier over here. So I can just go back here and take this person. Let's um, group it together again. So arrange and group and cut. And then let's paste it up here in this thing. We can kind of put her on the bench, but let's uh, rotator. So when it's grouped, we can go to shape format and rotate flip horizontal like that. Now she's kind of leaning more into the alarm thing. The, the cool thing about these that I do like is that they are always kind of facing a little bit one direction. They're facing mostly forward, but also a little bit tilted to the side. 
So it makes for a kind of more engaging scene, something that looks like this, where they are facing each other. And then the, uh, the mother gets a little bit upset like that as well. So they are facing mostly forward, but also tilted slightly in one direction. That's good. If we wanted to uh, do the transition that I did, so the main thing that we'll want to do a transition for is probably the face. So we can right click this and we can go to duplicate slide. And here I'm going to uh, right click and ungroup. And then um, I'm just going to essentially change the facial expression. So I'm going to keep everything except the facial expression. Nope. Let's uh, bring one that I had earlier. Be careful to delete all of the bits. So these are some that I had earlier. Um, they're a little bit masculine, but they could, this one could kind of work. Uh, that is in the wrong direction, so I'm going to have to f rotate and flip that one again. <laughs> wow, she is pretty angry there. Uh, and then in the second one, I'm going to go to the Transitions tab and choose Morph. I love the Morph Transition. The Morph Transition is absolutely fantastic. Um, it allows you to create these things that morph from one thing to another. I have a whole elaborate video on everything the morph can do. In this one, I'm just going to show you how to do it for cartoon characters. So I'm going to ungroup again. And what's very key is ungrouping the face into individual elements. So I'm going to ungroup that or control shift G, get you as close as possible until you hear that error message. Control shift G, yes, I want to convert it into that. Notice that it does flip it again annoyingly. So before you ungroup it again, flip it here. Control shift G again and again. Now we have one face like that, the next face like that. Make sure that the person is grouped to the same level, which it does seem to be. And then go to slideshow mode. So here, go to the next slide. You can see that is morphing from one to another. It's maybe not as slick. Things like the the tears element aren't that slick, but you can get even more specific if you want to. So to go from this face to this face to this one, I used a slightly more advanced technique. Let me show you that and let's start again. So I'm going to go to insert icons. I'm going to choose cartoon people and faces. And let's pick a couple of different ones. So let's do this one and this one and maybe this one. Press insert. There we get them. So I'm going to delete these three and replace them with these three new ones. So there we go. And I've got the glasses on top as well. And now if I go to morph, it doesn't quite work as well. So if I have put in the morph transition already, notice that you can also change the speed. If you want to have the duration of the morph transition be one second, then you can edit it there. But if I go to slideshow mode, from here, if I go forward, just kind of doesn't morph from face to face really. It just kind of goes in a random direction. So what I'm going to do instead is this advanced trick that's really worth knowing with morph. So if you go to graphics format and then choose the selection pane, um, this is called graphics 21. Notice this is a combination of the different elements. But it's a graphic. It's not individual groups like you get down here because we haven't ungrouped it. So you need to give it a name and start with two exclamation marks. So let's go exclamation mark, exclamation mark face. Let's do the same here. You have to give it the same name and it has to have two exclamation marks. Otherwise, this trick doesn't work. So here, same like that. And then if I go here and I just go to slideshow mode, then next slide looks like that. And the faces are morphing more into one another. Notice that in this one, I sped it up. So there's a good trick worth knowing. That's how I did the morph from this one to look at the faces, something more like that. So it is a good feature. Notice the selection pane, if you do a lot of ungrouping, gets really, really hefty with a lot of objects in it, but you don't have to worry about it so much. Uh, you can even ungroup two individual face elements and do the same trick as well. 
And that's also how you would animate these guys. So stickers, cartoon people, or even third party add-ins. It's not a perfect animation. The cartoon people is a lot slicker, but you would do that as well. If I look at my selection pane here, picture format and selection pane, then I have here uh, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, and then I have picture one, picture two in all of them. Uh, you don't want to get it wrong, otherwise it'll animate something to something that's not, which is not good. Here I have casual astronaut explorer jeans man, and here they are as well. So let's take a quick look at uh, how to get these other objects. So let's look at how to get these and do the same kind of thing. So insert icons, and let's go to cut out people. You have the character names across here. So let's go to Nicole, for example, and let's choose a couple of her poses. And then let's go to stickers. Then you also have the, ko the koala character, for example. So let's choose some of the koala like that. And next we just rearrange them and go to the selection pane and do the same trick, which is called bang, bang, morph. That's what they're calling it. Uh, make sure you have those two exclamation marks in the same word that's repeated. And then we get to this output. And then go from one to the next, to the next, to the next. It's not as slick as the cartoon people because you can animate the different features and the colors and stuff, but you can still get it working. Now, how did I get these guys in? I went to the insert tab and I choose um, get add-ins. And these are called comic characters, pix and comic characters. So click on add. And then I agree to the terms and conditions, press continue. And it adds it here to the home tab. Note that if you have added in, you can't see it again, then my add-ins will bring it to you here. So from here, I can then go to the pixel and characters. You get the sidebar, get started. Now I already have built some, and these are the ones I've built, but you essentially pick a type like this one, and you pick a color, then you can choose a hair. Note that these are kind of preset ones, so it's kind of nice. You don't have to kind of guess the colors, but like skin tones and hair tones, and the outfit, and then finally the pose. And that'll appear then afterwards in recent. And then after you've done that, it will appear in recent like this, and you can do different poses and then animate them in the same way as shown before. So there's an add-in that I find quite nice. Just want to give a shout out to a friend of mine called That Sneaky Rabbit, who does a really cool video channel on YouTube about how to kind of draw cartoon characters. Here is his one on like Boris Johnson. <laughs> so he is kind of drawing caricatures and other kind of funny things and gives really, really good advice. But it is quite funny and interesting to learn how to do something fun like this. <laughs> All right, so my name was David Benayim and I do tons of videos on Excel, PowerPoint, Google Sheets, Power BI, Zoom, Teams. If you're using Tech of the Workplace, then I'm covering it on my channel and I'm doing weekly videos. So subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching.